I'm your host, Talani Lafaro L. And we have a very special show for you today with a very special guest. My guest is a fine artist, and she uses that talent in a very unique way. She takes braids and makes images in people's hair. Miss uh, Chatham, welcome to Minority Entrepreneurs Show. Thank you for having me on your show. How would you describe what you do? I want you to describe what you do. Well, what I do is I draw pictures on a piece of paper. And when I can put something on paper, I visualize it and I can put it in a, into a hairstyle. Now that's, a, a that's a very, very unique talent. I, as a matter of fact, I've never heard of anyone doing that. Not with braids, anyway. Um, what was your inspiration for starting this? My inspiration as far as starting hair, or wanting to do hair, I had an aunt when I was about seven, mm -hmm. and she had leukemia and it made all of her hair fall out. And I had this favorite Barbie doll, and I took the doll and made a small mirror image of her in my eyes. And what I wanted to do was to help my aunt in some way, which was, you know, maybe by making her feel better by doing her hair. Okay. So as, as a seven-year-old, you were using your imagination that the doll was your aunt and that you were helping her. Right. Oh, well, that's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, whose hair did you actually start on? Did you uh, uh, use your, you have a brother, I take it. Yes. Okay, so whose hair did you actually start working on after the doll? The actual head that I started doing here was my own. I started working on my own hair and my younger brother. And just, just doing different stuff, experimenting, really. Okay. Do you have any sisters? Yes. Okay, did you do that? No. <laughs> oh, you didn't do that? <laughs> you didn't use them as guinea pigs? No. Oh, okay. Now, at what age did you actually start doing uh, other people's hair? At about 6th grade, about 12 years old. Around the age of 12? Yes. Okay, and uh, when did you start the designs? I started the designs about around that time too. Around, around the same time period. Yeah. How did you get into doing the designs? I mean, that's that's such a different thing when you were so young. Uh, what, what got you into uh, I would imagine as well as you can do braids, you do have older customers that come to the door. Yes. Right. But the majority of them are younger yes. in terms of, of getting the designs done. Yes. Now, uh, I, I see you brought some people with you here. Uh, that you've done. Uh, so why don't we take a look at some of the things that you've done. This is my little brother D'Anthony and in his, in his style I have a number one right here with the number sign. On this side of his head and you see an S and an A, which represents San Antonio. Um, what this is an image of is a basketball going into a net. And what I did was I braided the basketball and then I braided a net to make it have more definition, to make it stand out more. I used color weaves to make the design stand out and the red represents the realm and the white represents the net. This is my cousin Brittany and what her hairstyle is is called cherries on a leaf. This green part right here represents the leaf that's in her head and then the red part represents the cherries which is also what I've done with braid with the braid is I've created the cherries on the leaf and braids. Uh, the green part right here represents the leaf, which is on this side. And then you got the two cherries, 
with the little stem in the middle. These braids that surround the cherries are what I use to make the braids stand out, which makes, which helps me to have my image as a focal point. This is my close friend, Katrina. This hairstyle that Kentron has is called Do It Be It. This is a spoke realm right here. This right here is 24, and it represents what type of realm that is, the size. This right here is a cocktail glass, or a martini glass, and it has like a little cherry inside that's coming out. This right here is the Playboy Bunny, and he has a diamond for his eye. And of course, last but not least, we do it big. You know, those styles that uh, we just got done looking at was very unique. I've never seen anything like that. And I tell you, I was really anticipating uh, having an opportunity to really see what it actually looked like. And it, it really great. I know it takes a it takes a lot of time, patience, and talent to do that. You are going to have a big future ahead of you. I can see great things coming for you in the future. As a matter of fact, I know we're going to pick up a magazine or a newspaper one day and see you on the cover. Hairstylist of the year uh, for whatever. Also, you are a great role model and example for young people your age. I want to thank your uh, models uh, for being here today and joining, joining us. And I want to thank you for joining us on the Minority Entrepreneur Show. Thank you. Before we go, I just want to mention that you can see Minority Entrepreneur Showcase the first and the third Mondays at 9 p.m. Again, you've been watching Minority Entrepreneur Showcase. I'm your host, Tamani Mafaro-L, and we will see you next time. <laughs>